Raise your hand if you've ever sat in front of your computer screen and asked yourself the question, so what? What's the purpose of my research? Why should anyone even care? Last year, The Guardian published an opinion piece entitled, A PhD Should Be About Improving Society, Not Chasing Academic Kudos. Within, Dutch researcher Julian Kircher argues that academics have become so obsessed with jargon and theory that we've entirely lost touch with the everyday needs, research needs of everyday people. We can harness the power of academia to solve the real problems our communities are facing. Unfortunately, most nonprofits don't have the capital, expertise, or the capacity to conduct the vital research that would make their programming more effective. But community-based research offers an approach which can address this gap. Most academics and community organizations speak in different languages, and thus, they need a translator. My research evaluates Ulink Center for Community-Based Research, a tiny nonprofit organization who has spent the better part of 20 years advocating for and enabling research partnerships between Trent University and other organizations in Halliburton County. Here's how it works. Each year, Ulink puts out a call for research, and organizations respond with their needs. These projects are developed by the community, and then Ulink matches them with students and faculty at Trent. The student gets a grade, the host gets a report, it's a win all around. But what actually happens after the student leaves? This was the main question my research addressed, and through 26 interviews and a community survey, we were able to track some of the significant outcomes of projects, including countywide um, policy changes, the establishment of new management plans, and most importantly, organizational learning and the establishment of new relationships in the community. The impact of community-based research can be related back to five R's. Relevance, relationships, resources, rigor, and reach. The importance of community-based research is tied first and foremost to the relevance of the projects to community needs, the relationships that are built during the development and research process, the resources made available through both academia and the community, the re uh, strength or rigor of the research itself, and finally, the reach, the publicity the research receives and whom in the community, especially in terms of decision makers, are made aware of the work that's been done. These factors, strengthened by the community-based research approach, enable your work to go from a purely academic pursuit to the kind of research which actually supports and speaks to everyday people. Thank you.